So, okay, he sees he sees fish and he's like, this is great. I feel connected to my lady. Like, I can I can get into the, the fish vibes, even if, like, things got a little weird. Then they go to the gathering the next summer, um, ostensibly for, like, I don't know if he was covering it. For, I assume he knew he was writing yeah. the book by this point. So he was going in a journalistic fashion, but in a in an intrigued way. Right. Um, I mean, the big thing about the gathering that he goes to is that the Tila Tequila incident happens. And he's so he, I'll set it up like this. He earlier in the night, he sees Tom Green do a comedy set. Um, oh there's God. a lot of comedy. At, at, yeah. This is a comedy tent. Yeah. This, was it was the fresh super fresh comedy, ass comedy, comedy fresh tent. ass comedy. That's the way I like it. Fresh. The ass. best kind of comedy. Mm hmm. You get that ass comedy, you get that fresh comedy. I don't like that stale, stale ass comedy. I like that. I like that new, yeah. like new comedy ass smell. Yeah. <laughs> I just like when the comedy ass gets right in my face. Yeah. Shakes it. Anyway, he sees Tom Green and Tom Green like he gets on stage and he reads the room. Mm -hmm. He basically is just yeah. like he like takes a long hard look at people and it's like he mentally adjusts. Yeah, and it works. Like he he has this set where he's kind of like positioning himself as this person who had everything. He had an MTV show. He fucked Drew Barrymore. It's also married. Excuse me, sacredly married to Drew Barrymore. <laughs> he fucked Drew Barrymore in the marital bed. In the marital yes. bed, the sacred marital bed. Um, and then he yeah. and then he like got cancer and like the show ended and yeah. he kind of like lost everything he had and so Eminem he was put able his fake ass on his lips. Right? Oh, yeah. No one wants that. Um, the ultimate humiliation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he he was able to like read the room and get down get on the same level as the juggalos, which is that like these are people who don't have much. The, the gathering is what they have. They look forward to the shit all year. It's their time to express their fandom and like relax and chill because they probably have like shitty blue collar jobs that they hate. Yeah. So like this is their time to blow off steam. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Tom Green has a successful set for the reason of reading the room. Tila Tequila does not have a successful set. Um, she uh, she doesn't she's not able to adapt to their vibes. Yeah. This is the way Nathan is putting it. Yeah. That she. She doesn't read the room and she doesn't uh, she, she's not able to translate her narrative in a way that <laughs> resonates with the juggalos, <laughs> which yeah, leads to her being pelted it's, by bottles of piss and shit yeah. and have her trailer knocked the, over. The, of all the artists, all the or musical artists like represented in this book, he holds Tila Tequila to the highest standard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 For Tila, Tila is like act, it, right in the middle of a. A cultural type that's between yeah. like the Paris Hilton prissy fancy girl type mm -hmm. and pre Kesha switching the mold to being like trashy dirt bag, but also like hot girl could yes. be a thing. Yeah. And Tila, if I believe if that Kesha mold already existed, could have found a different narrative. Or to shape I would around. also say her analog is Cardi B. Yes. Because Something like, that. like yes, someone yes, yes, who yes. came from nothing using their sexuality to get ahead. Like literally her show was about trying to like find someone, a, a lady or a man. It was like super progressive at the time for being also like have a weird heterosexual <laughs> to be, yeah. eye. To be like also <laughs> extremely exploitative. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would honestly, I would like to give a shot of love a rewatch because I watched yeah. that when it came out and like had a certain set of opinions. And now I don't know. Although apparently she's it. like a, like a alt right. Like oh yeah. Now. And she thinks the world is flat. She's a yeah. flat earther too. She's got all the things. She, <laughs> she, she became all the bad things. Um, yeah. So in oh, who knows? Um, but Anyway, yes, she, I think she could have, she, it's not like she was inappropriate for the gathering, but the gathering saw her as inappropriate. They saw her as just the Paris Hilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That being said, I don't think she deserves to have shit pelted at her. Yeah. But, and I mean, he, Nathan Rabin empathizes with her. He says, it was impossible not to empathize with this tiny woman confronting a crowd that seemed to hate her for reasons she couldn't possibly understand. Uh, she went down because she failed to understand the situation she was in. Unlike Green, she had failed, she had fatally misread the room, which I don't love that that yeah. reading of it. That like it, it's her own fault that she was assaulted with. Yeah, she, she was piss set bottles. up to be in a bad place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's a little like I mean, like talk about like not reading the room. Like Nathan Raven, like it's twenty it's twenty twelve, but like still, you know, it's a little little victim blamey to you know. Yeah. Uh, in any way sort of imply that like a four foot ten inch woman being pelted with garbage and like and like also like they, they like some people like chased her to her tour yeah. and like almost yeah. tipped it over. It was tipped it really over. violent. It's, it's like yeah. a lot. Yeah. I mean he makes it seem like it's just kind of this like 
funny thing, but like it's actually like it's it's like genuinely a little bit like oh wow like if, if it had happened to an artist who was like less of a punchline, then it would have you know been is this like big news or at like a f- different festival. Yeah. Is um, this when yeah. Tila Tequila got red pilled? This traumatic experience. Oh my god! It became Maybe. yeah, it might be oh, when she turned on the working class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Um, so I, I don't know. Like uh, it, that was hard. It's hard to parse because I get what he's saying that in order to truly, I guess, assimilate as a fan, you do need to understand yeah. the people that you're hanging out with. Um, but I don't necessarily know if she's the best example of like indicting her for that. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. um, um and at this point, so they go to the gathering, I think just for like a day, uh, although it sounds like a jam packed day. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the name of the, what is the name of the place that it's in? Like rock in the hole? Hole um, in the rock? Cave in rock, cave Illinois. In rock. I think it is hole since rock, moved. Basically the same. Yeah. Yes. I think they got kicked out of there and we're having trouble finding yeah. a place in, in the general like Southern Indiana region. They seem to periodically have trouble staying in one place for yeah, more than seem, a couple of like years. The, the, the carnival seems to move around between like Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. That little, the nature of a carnival. The Heartland. The Heartland. It's got a roll. Um, America. <laughs> <laughs> I would like ICP's music to sell Dodge Rams. Um, I think that would be a good they brand are, synergy. They are from Detroit. Yeah, yeah, from Detroit. Hell yeah! Right? How how come they didn't get that campaign instead of Eminem? Bullshit. Yeah. 